Sean, have you seen the keys to the car? We have to get to your parents in 15 minutes. Welcome back! It's Jeff from Tiki Drinks at Home, your guide to the amazing world of tropical and tiki-inspired cocktails, all that you can make in the comfort of your own home. So for those of you familiar with the channel, you've probably been like, where the heck has Jeff been? Why isn't he posting any videos? Is he even making tiki drinks anymore? Well, fear not, my cocktail-loving friends, I'm back. You see, sometimes life can get in the way of making tiki drinks hey, and- I So, sorry about that. Um, so, as I was saying, sometimes my wife can get in the way of making tiki drinks. <sighs> Anyways, with summer quickly becoming just a distant memory, I thought I'd share with you one of our favorite party sippers, the Scorpion Bowl. Now this is a tiki drink that's actually not meant for just one person, but for three or four, because it's traditionally served in a large tiki bowl. And a huge shout out and thanks to Trevor Rose for this image of an amazing looking tiki bowl from the Shameful Tiki Room in Vancouver. Trevor, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Sadly though, I don't have a tiki bowl right now, or I don't think really anyone to drink it with. So let's downsize this drink to something a little bit more suitable to solo drinking. I call this, the Scorpion Bowl for one. All right, so like so many tiki drinks over the years, there have been countless variations of the Scorpion Bowl. So the one I'm gonna share with you guys today is, is the one that we love to drink, the one we've tweaked over the years. Um, it's very refreshing and very, very boozy. So there are three main spirits to this one. Uh, first of all, a Puerto Rican gold rum, um, brandy, Truthfully, we don't drink a lot of brandy around here. I, I can count on probably one hand how many drinks we've had with a brandy before. Um, and then some London dry, uh, London dry gin. So let's get this started. I'm gonna take a glass here. And we're gonna start with one and a half ounces of Puerto Rican gold rum. All right, follow that up with one and a half ounces of gin. All right, and then finally, about three quarters of an ounce of brandy. So I did a little research on this drink and not surprising, there's a hundred different stories, um, but most of them all led back to Trader Vic Bergeron. So the story goes that Trader Vic in the 1930s visited a little tiki place called The Hut in Honolulu. And there is where he was introduced to the Scorpion Bowl for the first time. And he was just completely mesmerized. He was completely blown away by this drink. He loved how it was served. He loved the taste. And he loved how it kind of brought everyone together. It was kind of a, a communal bowl. So at that time, the drink was actually made with a spirit called Okalihau, which is like a Hawaiian moonshine. So he brought this back to the States, Oakland, California, the original Trader Vic's location. And he he, he subbed out a Kalihau for the more accessible rum. It did a few tweaks, added some different fruit juices. And to this day, Trader Vic is really the one that's, that's credited um, with, with bringing the Scorpion Bowl to the masses. So let's get into our fruit juices here. We've added our, our gold Puerto Rican rum. We've added the drichin, we've added the brandy. Now we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then I've got one and a half ounces of orange juice. Orja syrup. I always joke that there really isn't a tiki drink that doesn't use orja. Uh, but this one, three quarters of an ounce. And finally, we're gonna top that off with half an ounce of simple syrup. So this is one of the few tiki drinks that I do not shake. And I do not shake it just because I really can shake it when I make it in larger quantities. So therefore, when I make the individual serving, I don't, I just, I stir, I do, I do not shake. So we're gonna follow that through here. So we're gonna take our shaker tin here and we're gonna add some ice.
pour that in. And take your little bar spoon here. And anywhere from like five to 15 seconds, depends how diluted you like it. Uh, no matter what, the drink is gonna be really, really strong. Um, I usually go about 10 seconds here. And you know it's done because you can, you can feel the shaker tin start to get kind of cold. So once that's done, we're now gonna strain into a tiki glass or mug. And actually, let's, let's grab one off the shelf up here. There we go. This guy looks friendly. This guy looks like he needs a drink. Um, so let's fill this guy up with ice. And pour away. And one more lesson of tiki drinks, add more ice. So I'm not quite to the top here. Add more ice to kind of top that off. And then for this, I like to keep it simple. I do just use a little orange wheel. Kind of bury it in there. Add a little straw. And there you go. The scorpion bowl for one. Ah, like I said, one of my favorite summer drinks. So for those of you that are interested in the individual serving, I'll post that in the description along with the full-blown tiki bowl. So if you're having a party or something, make sure to make that. It is a huge hit. So I thought let's end this episode a little bit differently than we usually do by talking about a couple of the spirits that I use in the cocktail today. Babe, 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 I was just finishing up. I'm, I'm almost done, I swear. So what do you, what? These are mine now, and you can have them back when you prove to me that you're more responsible with your life choices. <sighs> but honey, really, can we? Get in the car. <sighs> Sorry guys, I, I gotta go. I'll, hopefully I'll see you around soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now! Oh, come on, you're so uncool. Do this in front of my friends. Oh.